Hello everybody, welcome at Abhimanyu IS, the leader in the preparation for the UPSC and state civil services examinations which has so far produced more than 2200 selections in a time span of just 23 years. My name is Dr. H. S. Siddhu, I am in Abhimanyu IS, I teach relations and Indian economy teach karta hu. I have been mentoring the civil services aspirants for more than 15 years and I have authored many books also for the preparation of the UPSC and state civil services examinations. So, Abhi, Abhi Manu IS mein humne ek bohut important series issues and analysis ke upar start ki hai. In this series, uh, we discuss the various current issues which are considered important for the purpose of the UPSC and state civil services preliminary and uh, main examinations. Let me share one more important information with you that at Abhimanyu IS we are commencing the fresh batches for the UPSC and state civil services preliminary and main examinations targeting 2023-24. The course will be available through offline and online mode we are giving seven days free trial class also if you want to join you may click on the link given in the description so aaj ka topic jo maine discussion ke liye select kiya hai that is the future of indo pak relations ye jo hamara aaj ka lecture hoga isme hum indo pak relations ki bahut zyada history mein to nahi ja payenge hamara concern rahega कि इंडो पाक रिलेशंस में मेन इरिटेटिंग फैक्टर कौन कौन से हैं एंड इन बिटवीन क्या इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स थोड़ा हम बात कर लेंगे एंड देन वी विल सी दैट व्हाट इज़ द फ्यूचर ऑफ द इंडो पाक रिलेशंस वी कैन से सो दैट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके सो अगर हम इंडो पाक रिलेशंस की बात करते हैं तो एक जो सबसे पहला इम्पॉर्टेंट जो पॉइंट हमारे बीच आता है Okay, what is the dispute between uh, between the India and Pakistan? See, this dispute ki root mein two nation theory mein mein manta hoon. Wo two nation theory jo uh, humari uh, British uh, government ne hume uh, us period ki jo uh, den hai hume. This is the colonial legacy I would like to say. And uh, wo jo two nation theory hai, wo hume साइकोलॉजिकली डिवाइड करती है जिस नेशन जिस थ्योरी का ये आज यू कैन से कंसिक्वेंस है रिजल्ट है दैट मुस्लिम्स एंड नॉन मुस्लिम्स थिंक दैम साल वॉज द टू सेपरेट नेशंस सो दिस इज द रूट और द बेड रॉक ऑफ द इंडो पाक रिलेशन और द एंटायर डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन द इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान टूडे आई कैन से आफ्टर दैट कंट्री की 1947 के अंदर पार्टीशन होती है पार्टीशन के बाद कश्मीर का इशू इमर्ज होता है सर क्रीक का इशू इमर्ज होता है इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान के बीच उसके बाद फिर 1947 की वार होती है 1965 की वार होती है 1971 की वार होती है विच इज वॉर रिलेटेड विद द लिब्रेशन ऑफ द बांग्लादेश उसके बाद फिर नाइनटीन में कारगिल की वॉर होती है सो दीज आर दू कैन से द वेरियस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन द इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान विच टूक प्लेस इन द हिस्ट्री एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर इज वन मोर प्रॉब्लम दैट इज द टेरोरिज्म वी कैन से एंड देन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन में इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान के बीच एक एग्रीमेंट होता है चाइना पाकिस्तान इकोनॉमिक कॉरिडोर को लेकर के और वो जो चाइना पाकिस्तान इकोनॉमिक कॉरिडोर है दैट वायोलेट्स द सॉवरेनिटी of the country of india particularly and that is why ye china pakistan economic corridor bhi india pakistan ke relations ke beech ek problem hai and uh, after that in 2019 this uh, suspension of article 370 and article 35a of the constitution of india by the government of india so this is also another dimension in the conflict between india and uh, pakistan so these are the various problems we can say okay so if we talk about this little about the uh, this jammu and kashmir because this is the major issue or major cause of trouble between the two countries this is the entire jammu and kashmir territory and uh, uh, this particular area uh, we can say this 
this particular area is a the pakistan occupied kashmir this is the pakistan occupied kashmir and this white dotted line that is the line of control uh, which uh, divides the india occupied kashmir and pakistan occupied kashmir that is there and uh, this is the particular territory uh, this red line territory which has been ceded by pakistan to china in 1963 and this is the siachen glacier region which is known as the no man's land and uh, this territory which is the aksai chin territory this is the territory which has been occupied by china which is under the illegal occupation of china so uh, this is about this uh, kashmir uh, kashmir and as far as this pakistan occupied kashmir is concerned so it runs through the uh, sorry as far as the cpec is concerned it runs through the pakistan occupied kashmir so that is why it uh, uh, we can say violates the sovereignty of india okay so this is the point there and uh, the next thing is that uh, uh, apart from these various disputes which we have discussed just now as as i have told that uh, two nation theory is the bedrock of the dispute between india and uh, pakistan and after that partition kashmir issue sar creek issue and uh, the wars which have been fought and uh, liberation of the bangladesh then siachen glacier then you can say 1999 kargil war the two countries uh, do the nuclear explosions in 1998 and uh, then after that uh, cpec and uh, terrorism is there also uh, narco terrorism is there and counterfeit currency which is coming from the pakistani side that is also one of the issue infiltration is another issue we can say and uh, then the revocation of article 370 by the government of india uh, which is another trouble in the uh, between the two countries that is the india and pakistan we can say okay and apart from that there is the role of the foreign powers also so let me tell you that uh, uh, we can say that uh, uh, this is one country is russia and the second country is usa and here is pakistan and here is i can say india okay and uh, we see that uh, there is an asymmetry there is an asymmetry between india and pakistan okay so okay, india pakistan ke comparison mein size mein bhi bada hai population mein bhi bada hai economic capacity bhi india ki zyada hai india ki jo defense capabilities hain wo bhi comparatively zyada hai in comparison with the pakistan so that is why there is an asymmetry which exists between india and pakistan and now Uh, you can say uh, to correct that asymmetry or to we can say offset that that asymmetry it is the need of the pakistan to remain uh, close to one of the you can say world powers either russia or usa okay and the third country is that we can say that is the china also now ओके सो ये पाकिस्तान की मजबूरी है पाकिस्तान की नीड भी है कि इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान के बीच जो भी असमिट्री है उसको ऑफसेट करने के लिए जो पाकिस्तान है वो किसी न किसी वर्ल्ड पावर के साथ रहता है ओके सो इसलिए क्या होता है कि जब इंडिया रशिया के नज़दीक होता है तो पाकिस्तान यू के नज़दीक चला जाता है जब इंडिया एंड यू एस की फ्रेंडशिप इंक्रीज़ होती है तो पाकिस्तान की फ्रेंडशिप रशिया के साथ इंक्रीज़ होने लगती है चाइना के साथ इंक्रीज़ होने लगती है तो दिस इज़ द वी कैन से इक्वेशन ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दीज कंट्रीज आई वुड लाइक टू से ओके सो वन पॉइंट इज दैट रशिया सो यू एस सो यू एस इज़ वन ऑफ द फैक्टर्स इन द इंडो पाकिस्तान रिलेशन क्योंकि ड्यूरिंग द कोल्ड वार पीरियड the us was supporting pakistan because of some reasons and uh, india was uh, uh, in favor or india was with the ussr at that time ussr supported india during the cold war period okay but uh, uh, and uh, but when the cold war period ended so then 
the equation the relations between india and uh, us you can say started improving and uh, in that phase you can say the uh, uh, pakistan started tilting towards the russia and towards the china as well okay so so that is why when india becomes closer to us then it is not acceptable to pakistan and to counterweight that pakistan shifts side with either the russia or we can say this china okay so this is the point there and moreover uh, uh, due to the uh, pa due to the proximity of pakistan to afghanistan okay so uh, it is it 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 was in the interest of us to keep good relations with with pakistan because uh, in its fight against taliban in afghanistan and for uh, the restoration of the democracy there in afghanistan so us used the uh, territory of pakistan in its fight against the taliban so so that is why that was the period and then uh, after that uh, uh, you can say this uh, after the normalization of the democracy in afghanistan uh, so the relations between india and the us uh, uh, started improving and that is why in the wake of that pakistan started taking side with china or with uh, uh, this russia okay so this is the one factor and second is the russia also because uh, uh, russia and uh, us are a sort of enemies we can say ye in dono ke beech mein relations theek nahi rahe rehte bhi nahi hai and that is why uh, jab india ke uh, saath us ki nearness hoti hai to russia china ki taraf badhta hai because is region mein jo us ko counterweight karna zaruri hai inke liye okay? and similarly jab us and india ki friendship hoti hai to china bhi pakistan Uh, ki jo uh, you can say support leta hai aur china bhi pakistan ko apne close karta hai and uh, this is the reason that when china started emerging economically because we are having differences with china and uh, cpec plan kiya gaya and wo cpec uski china ke liye ek strategic importance to banti hi banti hai but apart from that uh, wo jo cpec hai so that is a uh, Uh, you can say important for the economy of the pakistan also but india ke liye cpec ki prob ki trouble kya hai number 1 cpec runs through the pakistan occupied kashmir which i have already told and uh, due to that you can say cpec violates the uh, sovereignty of uh, uh, this uh, india one point is that uh, and the second thing is that uh, Uh, the more investment of pakistan in the pakistan occupied kashmir you can say uh, strengthen the claims of pakistan in the pakistan occupied kashmir so that is why wo bhi india ke liye ek 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 strategic challenge hai and apart from that uh, now china and pakistan uh, you can say uh, holding meetings or uh, uh, you can say developing consensus to uh, extend the uh the, this china pakistan economic corridor further into the afghanistan so agar wo afghanistan mein bhi further extend kar diya jata hai to india ke liye ek aur trouble ban jayegi because uh, china and pakistan ke sath ek aur country uh, permanently jud jayega and that is afghanistan and uh, then pakistan then afghanistan ke stake bhi cpec mein ho jayenge and therefore इंडिया का जो क्लेम है पाकिस्तान ऑक्यूपाइड कश्मीर के ऊपर वो वो और भी थोड़ा वीकन होगा सो सो दिस इज द पॉइंट दैट इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ यूएस इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ रशिया इंटरफेरेंस ऑफ चाइना ये सभी सॉर्ट ऑफ एक ट्रबल है इनके बीच में ओके एंड देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द फ्यूचर ओके देर आर सर्टन पॉजिटिव थिंग्स ओके सो वट आर दोज पॉजिटिव थिंग्स नंबर वन इज Indus Water Treaty, which was entered into the two countries, entered between the two countries, uh, that is uh, in 1960, and which uh, divides the six rivers of the Indus water system. Uh, the, you can say three western rivers. The right over three western rivers has been given to the Pakistan, and the right over three eastern rivers has been given to the uh, India. You can say so. That is the point, and. Uh, Uh, despite uh, you can say uh, such a you can say worst phase of the relationship which is uh, you can say uh, going on 
between India and Pakistan. The Indus Water Treaty re remains successful. So it is uh, known as uh, one of the world's most successful bilateral treaties. So, so agar Indo-Pakistan, uh, agar India-Pakistan ke beech, agar ye Indus Water Treaty agar successful reh sakti hai, so fir it means uh, hum aur issues ke upar bhi hum apni jo understanding build up karke hum aage bad sakte hain. So this is the positive point. And moreover, Pulwama hota hai 2019 February mein and uh, Pulwama ke baad jo ek cease fire announce hoti hai aur wo jo cease fire hai wo bhi aaj tak successful hai koi major violation cease fire ki abhi tak nahi hui hai and uh, these are certain points which prove that uh, okay that uh, you can say India and uh, uh, Pakistan's relation can be normalized there is scope there is potential for the normalization of the relations between these two countries and moreover the people of the two countries uh, want that uh, the relations between India and Pakistan should be should become uh, you can say normalized and both the countries should turn into uh, friends also and uh, there are many religious sites of uh, you can say this Muslims also which are there in India and many uh, Sikh and uh, Hindu religious sites are there in Pakistan also and uh, both India and Pakistan are affected by the terrorism also and that is why in the wake of all this we can say that uh, there are uh, there are certain common grounds okay working on which the 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 uh, future of the india pak relations can be decided and the relations can become normalized in the days to come and moreover both the countries have certain common problems okay uh, both the countries have a uh, almost similar socio economic problems okay poverty is there in india also poverty is there in pakistan also and a high rate of unemployment in India also, high rate of unemployment in Pakistan also and then this uh, human development uh, issues in Pakistan also, in India also which is there and uh, both the countries are having the same climatic uh, uh, challenges also okay like the floods uh, and uh, heat waves uh, and this uh, uh, droughts etc so these are the common environmental problems which 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 both the countries india and pakistan are facing nowadays okay and apart from that uh, uh, both are mainly the rural economies and uh, in both the economies we can say agriculture is the dominant occupation and in both the countries the agriculture is not yet developed and uh, productivity is very much low uh, so, so there are so many commonalities between the two countries, commonality of the language, commonality of the culture, commonality of the, you can say this, uh, festivals, values, etc. So, so many things are there which are common between the two countries. Okay, so, and uh, legacy, history, all these things are common between the two countries. So, that is why uh, on these, uh, we can say, common grounds, uh, the future of the India-Pakistan relations can be developed or can be built up and uh, uh, one and one more thing is there because uh, agar ye dono countries apni apni territorial issues ko leke le karke ya Kashmir ki problems ko le karke agar ye dono countries aise apne aap mein uh, apne beech mein ek gap create kare rakhenge so then obviously the other powers of the world will intervene and they will try to exploit both the countries they will uh, try to take advantage uh, from both the countries and uh, uh, this is the point there and uh, if 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 india and pakistan cannot become united so then the progress growth of of this region means south asia region that is also uh, you can say uh, under the question mark okay uspe bhi question mark lagta hai because these are the two major economies in the south asia and both and both are the rival countries we can say and that is why in ki rivalry ke chalte hue ye sark bhi successful nahi ho paya that is also a passive even jo free trade agreement tha jo sark ke beech mein safta so that is also not implemented in its true spirit we can say okay and uh, the countries of this region uh, have not been able to cultivate the uh, this you can say uh, uh, potential of the 
trade and investment okay, in this region so otherwise also because uh, if the relations between india and pakistan would have been normal so then south asia is such a region which connects central asia with the we can say this east asia and southeast asia so that is why in the wake of all this we can say that that there is tremendous potential tremendous scope and moreover if uh, if if you can say india has resolved its uh, issues with uh, bangladesh because with with bangladesh we were having the territorial disputes we were having the water share, sharing issues also we were having the refugee issues also so agar bharat bangladesh ke sath in sab cheezon ko nipta ke aur ek normal relations bana sakta hai ek mitra ban sakta hai bangladesh ka to bharat pakistan ka bhi dost ban sakta hai but the point is that uh, पाकिस्तान की तरफ से पॉलिटिकल विल होनी चाहिए पाकिस्तान की तरफ से एक कदम आगे बढ़ाना चाहिए एंड एंड नाउ द फ्यूचर ऑफ द रिलेशंस बिटवीन द टू कंट्रीज विल डिपेंड ऑन ओके सर्टेन थिंग्स नंबर वन आई कैन से द पॉलिटिकल रेजीम इन पाकिस्तान ओके सो पाकिस्तान के बीच जो पोलिटिकल रजीम कौन है एक तो उसके ऊपर दोनों कंट्री का जो फ्यूचर जो रिलेशनशिप है वो डिपेंड करेगा वन पॉइंट इज दैट ठीक एंड द सेकेंड पॉइंट विच इज देयर दैट इज द इंटरफीरेंस इंटरफीरेंस ऑफ अदर पावर्स इंटरफीरेंस ऑफ अदर पावर्स between the two um, okay other powers like interference of china in india and pakistan interference of us in india and pakistan interference of russia in india and pakistan so this is the next point which is there okay and uh, the uh, next thing uh, which is there uh, that is um, interference of uh, the other powers that is the important point okay and the next thing is the will power of the governments from both the sides okay will power of the government from uh, both the sides that is also there okay and uh, the next thing is there uh, that uh, people's pressure or the public pressure from both the sides okay people's pressure uh, from both the sides so there are there are various we can say points okay and uh, moreover there is the transport communication and uh, trade links between the two countries in the days to come okay transport uh, communication and uh, trade between the two countries okay because both the countries can have a lot of uh, you can say advantage from the trade if the relations between the two countries are uh, normalized so this is the point okay and uh, uh, so these are we can say certain points uh, jinke chalte hue we can say in dono countries ka okay so and one more point we can add that uh, uh, how they can many is the current issues particularly the current territorial issues okay unko ye kaise manage kar sakte hain apne beech mein so this is also one important point which we can say ke wo kaise manage karte hain isko aane wale dinon mein to ye is cheez ke upar bhi depend karta hai ya jaise main ek suggestion bhi apni taraf se deta hu ke because हमारे लिए अपनी सर्वाइवल अपनी एग्जिस्टेंस अपनी जो दोनों कंट्रीज की जो पापुलेशन है उसको पावर्टी में से निकालना उसके लिए एम्प्लॉयमेंट प्रोवाइड करवाना एंड मोर ओवर हमारे जो कॉमन थ्रेट्स हैं जैसे क्लाइमेट थ्रेट है इनको फेस करना इनको एड्रेस करना ये दोनों कंट्रीज के लिए आज के टाइम में एक बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है एंड दोनों कंट्री को मिल 
एक कॉमन अप्रोच बना के पहले इन प्रॉब्लम्स को रिजोल्व करना चाहिए फॉर द टाइम बींग अगर हमारा कंसेंसस नहीं भी बन पाता तो भी हमें हमारे टेरिटोरियल डिस्पूट डिस्प्यूट को पोस्टपोन करके एक साइड पे रख के हमें आगे बढ़ना चाहिए पॉजिटिव दिशा में बिकॉज अगर हम उस टेरिटोरियल इशू को एक बार एक साइड पे रख के दोनों कंट्रीज़ के लीडर अगर थोड़ा आगे बढ़ने का मन बनाते हैं तो वो जैसे जैसे आगे बढ़ेंगे हो सकता है कि एक, एक कश्मीर प्रॉब्लम का सोल्यूशन भी कोई ना कोई निकल आए अदरवाइज एज ऑन टुडे इन द प्रजेंट सीनैरियो वी कैन से दैट कश्मीर का अभी जल्दी जल्दी कोई सोल्यूशन निकलता नज़र नहीं आ रहा एंड चाइना के अपने वेस्टर्ड इंटरेस्ट हैं इस रीजन में यूएस के अपने वेस्टर्ड इंटरेस्ट हैं सो दैट इज़ वाई उनके बीच में एनमिटी इंक्रीज हो रही है एंड उनके इन्फ्लुएंस के नीचे आके इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान के बीच में एनमिटी है जो दैट इज़ ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग सो दैट इज़ वाई द फ्यूचर मे बी गुड बट द गवर्नमेंट्स ऑफ बोथ द कंट्रीज शुड बी शुड शो शो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी शुड बिकम सेंसिबल टू द issues which are other than the territorial issues so that's all so i hope this is clear to you so uh, thank you very much all the best uh, next time ek naye topic ke sath fir milenge thank you very much